Okay, so we are at this place that we love to go. Um, and they have like the best cinnamon rolls ever. And then I just saw this morning on Instagram that they are doing um, like pumpkin, like like a pumpkin flavor or something on top. I don't know what it is, but I'm really excited to try it. It's the best fucking cinnamon rolls ever. And um, yeah, I don't like to show spouse stuff. You guys know that because I think I don't like to like really see spouse stuff. It's stupid, but like, you know, whatever. Um, I might, but okay, I'll show you the cinnamon roll. Ming. I love this little house right here. It's actually a little like Airbnb, or not Airbnb, it's a little like B&B. It's so cute. It's gonna cross the fucking street, but. Ming. I fucking love places that take like the extra step and do like fall drinks and things like that. Look at all these options. I can't drink coffee right now, but I'm, ugh, I love that. Like no one does this. Their coffee is so good here too. Look at how cute. Let's see if they have them. Hi guys, welcome in. Hi. Yeah, we saw your cinnamon roll with like pumpkin on oh, yes. Instagram. Do you guys have those? I do. I have two. Right oh, here. cool. Can we have one? Yes. Thank you. you. Share it? Yeah. Okay, thanks. On a plate or is it to go? Um, just on a plate is fine. Okay. Thank you. They're the. You guys have the best cinnamon rolls ever. some cookies you love cookies don't you what's this place called i'm sure they want to know i'll tell them Sh sugar blossom oh yeah there i never share anywhere but this place is just so fucking good and they have a little fall decoration i don't know no one's cute like no one does cute shit oh do you want some okay okay let me show It doesn't look like amazing, but I swear it's the best. Are you gonna try it with me? Sure. Okay. It's carbon neutral, right? Yes. Okay. My God. Shit, I'm sick. Is there a pumpkin spice flavor? A little bit. A little bit. Not overpowering, right? It's very, very light. I think the other one, I don't really put enough sauce on this one. Usually there's more sauce on them, but this one's really, it's still really good. Come here. I'll give you some. Come here. Come say hi. She hates me because she has Jason now. Oh. Yeah. So good. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, thank guys. Thank you. Uh -huh. Sit down. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm not sure if this will be the beginning of the video or another clip. So anyway, um, I kind of just want to like catch up with you guys and tell you what's going on as far as just my thoughts. And um, I don't know, like what, like I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm really, really like sad about what I'm going to talk to you about. Um, and I'm not sad for my, I'm not sad for myself, okay? Because there's nothing really to do with me. I'm sad for just the general, um, I'm sad for, I don't know how to explain it. Like, not like you guys, but my hair is really stringy. It's gross. I know my hair, my, I, I'm very like queen of hearts. I don't, this, this hairstyle is like disgusting. I don't know. My, my, I don't know who I am right now. Like, um, I just, the only thing good about me is my jewelry and my shirt. 
everything else is pretty disgusting. What are we doing here? I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to talk. And yes, I got my nails back because short nails are not me. I tried. And it just sucks because it's I, like, there's a couple things. I, <laughs> when I make jewelry, I need this like lift here. I need this, I need this to like push things and I use this fucking nail. So when I don't have, I started like bleeding because I would use my, my short nails and it would like get inside. So I need my nails back for to make jewelry, honestly. Like so that's the truth. It's just sucks about like cooking and stuff because I hate long nails with cooking. So anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is I don't want to grow as far as my channel. I think I've told you guys this before. I don't want to grow my Instagram. I hate it. I hate when I grow my Instagram. Like I just know it's troubles brewing. The more, the more my traction I get, the more trouble I get in for anything. I have like a target on my back since I've shut down. I think this is my third or fourth account for Instagram and it's just like exhausting. Like I don't care. Um, and I, I don't ever, <sighs> this is the thing. I really, I'm, I'm just, my name is substantial what's the word my name is known enough like my jewelry line is known enough but I of course I need an Instagram account you know what I mean I don't get affected when they shut me down or fuck with me but I don't know what I'm gonna do like I it's okay here we go I I I'm so upset okay I'm just gonna like go on on I, it is so fucked up for you guys that you can't hear what people say. Like the people, the only people that are allowed to talk are the ones that agree with like the leftist woke, woke media, right? The agenda. Those are the only people that are allowed to speak. They can say the most insane things you I've ever heard in my fucking life. The most backwards ass shit, destructive, like really harmful actually. And like will ruin your life and will lead you to have a very miserable and, unha and, and, and unhappy life. They will let you hear that and they will push that. But when people who they don't like say things that are the truth and to wake you guys up, we get like, we get, it's not that we get shut down. They cut, they cut our like knees off, right? They cut us at the knees. So we're forced to shut, to, to, to be quiet. I don't want to not have any channels. I don't have Twitter anymore. I'm banned for life, right? Like for nothing. And I thought when Elon took over, things would get better. It's not like I am so like, it's so bad. Um, I might, I'm getting a new phone because my phone is cracked and it, it's just fucked. So I'm getting a new phone. So I think, sorry, I got a phone call. Um, I getting a new phone. So I might try to get a new tw Twitter account. Maybe I don't even know, but like, I don't want to risk this. I don't. So what happened was last week, I posted, reposted someone who I agree with a lot of what he says, basically everything. Okay. I don't know about him personally. Um, and I don't want to say the name on here because so many people on here are so dense. Like I feel bad for you guys. I feel so bad for you guys, like that you are not able to hear. And you know, what's even worse is that I know I'm waking you guys up because I, I hear it so much. And especially the gay boys, like you guys are so misled, right? You guys are so fucking misled and people in college are so misled. And if you don't have parents who like teach you like truths and stuff and are kind of like weak minded or don't know, then you're really fucked. So I feel like a lot of you guys do learn from me. Like you think my, my, um, delivery is insane, but it's because I'm like really angry and like, I really want you guys to wake up and I realize I'm not doing shit. Like actually I'm not doing anything. No one's ever going to vote differently. I know, but at the same time, like I always say I'm not going to shut up, but then you like, okay, what happened was I reposted this guy and yes, I agree, agree with so much of what he says. Like, I don't, I don't, the accusations get him. I don't even know. I don't care. I don't know. And I don't, I actually don't even believe it. Okay. Because they're just trying to silence him. Okay. That's what I really believe. Like, look at me. Like they, the accusations that I'm a racist, I'm a homophobe. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like dumbest shit ever just to like discredit me. And I'm always getting shut down just to discredit me just so that like, you know, I can't speak and I'm not even anywhere near as close to these big people, but I have a huge target on my back. All I want to do is be able to make content for you guys, like wake you up a little bit, 
make you laugh and like sell jewelry that's what i do but like i'm not going to I, I, anyway so i reposted this guy who yes i fucking agree with and a lot of you guys agree with him too and he's very good for males he's very very good for male influence he is and he, he he's like a kevin samuels kind of guy he wakes people up it is what it is like it, the thing is like why don't they just let him talk why don't they just let people let let, let them talk it's the same thing with racist, like the same thing with the swastika. You guys know you, I've said, if someone wants to wear a swastika, I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish. Shut up. Okay. Yes. I have Jewish blood in me. I'm half Jewish. Um, so don't tell me that I'm anti-Semitic. You fucking idiot. Okay. You idiot. Fuck. If someone wants to wear a swastika, let them because that will sh the world can see what a piece of shit crazy fucking Nazi they are and stay away from them. Do you not see what I fucking mean? The more we hide those people and not let them speak, then we can't make assumption. We cannot make accusation. We cannot make a like real assumption for ourselves. Do you see what I mean? The same thing with people like me, bitch. Let me talk. If I'm so outrageous and I'm saying things that are so bad, people will not. People will not. Be like, okay, they'll be like, okay, no, what she's saying is wrong. She's a fucking lunatic, blah, blah, blah. But the more they silence people who, t who speak the truth, the more they're like, why? What she was saying or what he was saying is like true. Anyway, I reposted this guy on Saturday. People repost him all the time. He's famous, okay? But just because I am who I am, Instagram gets mad that I did that. And they fucked with my account really badly. They shut me down for like half a day or something. Like I wasn't able to access I turned my phone off, turned it back on, and now I'm not able to do my subscriptions anymore. So I'm only able to, I have subscribers because I told you about my subscription thing, which to be honest, like I love it because it feels like a smaller community. I like to like talk more to like my subscribers, like it's more fun. And yes, I make money from it. So like you guys know, like we all like to make money unless you're a little communist rat who expects me to give you my money, which you can suck my fat fucking cock. Okay, yes, you may. Suck it. Yes, you may. Okay. Get the fuck off of my page. Okay. Piss me off. So, um, obviously I'm not trans, but I'm pregnant. You stupid, stupid fuck. Okay. Um, dumb, dumb. Okay. So anyway, I'm pregnant. So what are you doing to me? Anyway. So, um, I was shut down. So now my subscriptions with the people, so it is like, seems like I can still post for my subscribers. They've just cut me off at the knees where I cannot gain any more subscribers. Do you see what I mean? So I can't do anything. Then they started flagging my, my, my subscriber stories. Like the picture, like I was like making a pot roast or what was it? Like some, some meal and they flagged it for violence. So I was like, fuck, they're just like, they're just flagging everything in mine now. Like it's like not fair. So I appealed it and about four days later today, they agreed with me that it was okay to have posted it but they still won't give me access to allow to gain more subscribers. So if you go on my Instagram page, there should be a button on my page where it says like follow to subscribe as well, like a real button. It doesn't show that. There should be three buttons, there's only two. If you guys notice the subscribe button come back up, please tell me. So they cut me off the knees at that. I can still post for my subscribers, which I will, and I am. So now it's better actually, I just sucks I can't grow mon like monetarily, you know, but you know, and it's doing really well. It's like, it's rewarding. Then that's what communists like to do. They like to cut incentive and they like to, they like to make it there. So like, there's no incentive in life. And so you just like, you don't do anything with yourself. That is, you know, you just like want the norm. You just like, like a drone, you know, and everyone gets the same meal. Everyone gets the same house and everyone gets the same car. So it's equal for everyone, except for the people in charge, making all the rules, living in the mansions. That's, do you understand? So anyway, good job. Um, and it really sucks that I, then the whole thing with the guy in, in England, I don't want to say his name. I feel like I'll get flagged. RB, are his, are his initials. Like, I am so sick of this, dude. Like, I really do not think that you can, I don't, I don't get into this, but I really think that if you are, if you have been sexually abused, assaulted, as an adult, I'm not talking about as like a scared child, as an adult, and you don't say something and you wait 10 years, I don't believe you. I don't fucking believe you, why now? Oh, why now? Because you want him gone? Because the media and the, and the and big people want him gone? 
I don't believe you. You're a liar. You're a fucking fucking liar. Okay. So if you would have come out and said it like fairly quickly, yes, I'll believe you. I might believe you if I, you know, I don't know, but I might believe you. But now I don't believe you. I know what you're doing. And I don't even think it's the women at the accusations. I think it's people behind the women making them do it to get him out, right? So now he's lost all of his sponsorships, all of his, te all of his shows. Why YouTube has like canceled him. Can't mon can't can't you know whatever. And he's major. So I like I'm no one, but I still get a, a taste of this, and I can't afford it. Like I am not them. They are multi multi. They're worth twenty million dollars, like more than that. You know, I'm not that. And I'm like out here sticking my neck out, getting canceled all the time, losing money left and right because because I tell you guys the truth and like I wake you up and like you, they don't like it. So I don't know what to do, especially with this election coming up. They are going to fuck me up. They are going to fuck us up. And so many people, it's like conservatives don't get flagged. Like, and that's because, you know, if you're like a conservative, you're like dorky, you don't want to listen to you, like, yeah, they're conservative. But I'm not really, like, I don't label myself as a conservative. I may have, like, conservative, I just have normal thoughts, you know what I mean? Like, I just have normal thoughts. And because of that, I feel like more people <sighs> listen, because I'm not just a boring conservative, because that's not what I am. I told you, like, I don't like those people. They're, they annoy me. I don't, I don't, I don't, like, associate with that, like, dorks. So that's the problem. So I don't know what to do because I am not going to risk this anymore. Like, I can't believe they took away my subscriptions. You know what I mean? And it's on that, that, that whenever I reach a hundred thousand, I know I'm on my last leg with them. They will, they just, the more traction I get, they're constantly taking followers away. It's exhausting. Like I don't care, but it's embarrassing because I know for sure I have like a million followers on Instagram. I know I do. I know I do. You just won't let me have them. Like I'm not stupid. Okay. Like when I see you taking away hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of followers in my, before my own eyes, I'm not fucking retarded. Okay. Like it's, you know, one plus one is two. So I, I just don't know what to do. Things like I, I know for sure. I not, I have woken up so many gay boys. Um, and it's really important because I, I really can, t I feel like I don't care. Like, like, the, the gays who don't get it are just dumb and losers and they like like to wear gay pride shirts and they like to put rainbows on, you know on their assholes and that's like that's what they do okay and they'll just never wake up and they like go to disneyland okay like they're freaks okay like go away disney freaks um i don't care i don't give a shit what you say to me but the gays that get it who the ones that like i told you i'm trans gay like we get it gays are so gay, gays should be conservative for one reason only for, for the main, most important reason, just common sense is that you guys don't have typically have families, right? Like you guys are, you guys make a lot of money. Gays typically make more than like just average families because they're really driven. They're go-getters. They have like a lot of, um, like drive because they want nice things. They like nice things. They like nice to live in nice houses. They like nice cars. Um, it's true. That is the truth. Okay. Show me a gay that doesn't like to shop or like to do nice things. Unless you're like, you know, like, you know, a guy's guy gay. I don't know. That's like, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm talking about a gay boy, which is just, it can, it's like, then, then you just become conservative because you work really hard. You want to, you know, I'm pissed. You work really hard. You want to, you know, be rewarded for your your hard work. You're sick of seeing society the way it is. You want to live in a nice place. You see what happens when you vote the wrong way. Shit starts to go to hell. You get taxed, taxed for your fucking asshole. Um, you don't want to live around gross people. Like it just is what it is. Okay, that's why gays. And I'm gonna, okay, and I want to stop you at the front door right now because he's like, what about the gay marriage? They won't let us get married. Okay, shut the fuck up. I have something to say about that. Yes, I do. That's what I have to say about that. Just. Um, gays should be able to get married 1 million percent get married. Okay. I think you should legally be able to get married. I think period. Okay. But what, like if it's getting married in a church, I don't understand why. I don't understand why that's important to a gay person to get married in a church when if they don't want you to get married in their church. Why do you have to force it? It's just like when the people are like, I know I don't want to bake a gay, a, a cake for a gay like ceremony, I don't want to do it. Why do you want to force them to do it? Just don't. I, it, that's the thing that bothers me. 
why do you have to why do that 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 bothers me i don't understand that like if the bible does say under a, what, a man and woman okay so why do you why do you have to go get married in the church that's the part that like i just don't understand like go get married one million percent get married you need to have the same rights as everyone else as far as like marriage and like i understand like taxes and everything yes thousand percent but like to be to push to get married in a church when it doesn't say that in the bible to me it's weird because you know i'm like i'm biblical kind of okay i don't know shit from shit as far as bible verses but that's what i know and it's like why okay if like if if someone tells me they don't want me to be somewhere i would want to do it anyway bitch you know what I mean? i'll do it my way like that's how i feel so it's like why do you have to push the church thing i don't get it or like push the bakery thing there's some like crazy christians who don't want to make you a, a fucking cake then don't don't go to them anyway you know what i mean like like why if i wanted a wedding ring and like someone was like no i don't want to make i if i didn't want to make a wedding ring for a gay person why would they want it for me anyway do you see what i mean even though that i would never do that like if they don't want to make you that kind of shit bothers me it's like don't make people do things that they don't want to do do not make me wear a mask i will never do it like that kind of thing don't make me don't make me do it that's what bothers me but um the gays that get it get it and the ones that don't are just rats and stupid and they're hurting their own life but you guys um i don't know what to say about this whole thing like i'm nervous because the election's coming up and they're like i mean no one's gonna it's, i can't believe it like i cannot believe that people haven't had enough of like the insane crime and like this like crazy like immigration like these people coming in like literally just like from everywhere like unvetted right um just coming through like thousands and thousands of people and everyone's just like it's fine or acting like it's fine or not really or, i i just don't understand like it doesn't it's completely and totally lawless it's insane like it's not anything that any country could ever like sustain and it's all gonna be too late before anyone wakes up and no one can talk about it because we're all gonna be shut down if like you bring up things meanwhile i'm just trying i just like bring up topics that like i'm like what the fuck you know what i mean like it's one plus one is two and the sky is blue okay like did you guys hear it's not just the states like there is a little tiny six thousand population island in italy and seven thousand immigrants from africa came on boats and like they're complete and they the people in in italy are like welcoming them welcoming them like feeding them and like giving them water and it's like that's i get it it's a human humanitarian problem but like you, there has to be rules like what do you like what i don't understand like like you can't just let people in unvetted people you have no idea who these people are completely and totally overrun your entire like island um it the whole thing is sad and it's all because of i don't want to talk about it because i just can't i don't know what i'm gonna say going on how much i'm gonna say because you know I can't shut up, but I also cannot lose my platforms. I don't want to because I will end up just going back on like another platform and starting something else. But like, I don't want to do that because I just don't. Um, but anyway, on Monday is my, we're going to, we're going to be able to hear the heartbeat for the child. Um, and I'm like really nervous because I keep on fucking watching TikTok and I see all these horror stories of like people who, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not being negative about that because like I'm, I already am pregnant, so I'm not going to be negative now. Um, but uh, that's happening on Monday. So I think I'm going to do the gender reveal then, which is not going to be a reveal. I'm going to take a photo of something. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to take a photo of some, a tangible object. So you'll know whether it's a boy or a girl, there are only two genders, period. Okay. So you weirdo. Anyway, fucking weirdos. Okay. So um, that's that. And let me show you guys. So I'm wearing my new stuff, and you guys are loving this collection. These are all vintage. Okay. So let me show you. Look at this piece. These are my periwinkle pearls, and I love them. You can wear them. Look at this um, toggle. It's so sick. So you can wear them as a necklace, or you can wear them as a um, lariat, like I do. And these are all genuine periwinkle pearls, like all real genuine pearls. Look at this. This is my with love from Versailles. And um, can you see how it's opaly? So this is 14K gold filled chain. And this is vintage. These are different vintage components that I have put together to make um, a, a pendant. It's all like French and German cabochon. This is all hand, like etched. 
and then there's an arrow going through with flowers around and etched flowers and this is opaly like rainbow opalescence it's so gorgeous and when these are gone they're gone as you can see like the pink in certain lights there um when these are gone they're gone because they're vintage and um, yeah, so they're just like different vintage components that I put together. The chain is 14K gold, 14K gold filled, super sparkly, and it's not vintage. This is my icon and it's a baby and the holy mother. So if you're gonna be a mom or you're a mom, she is so pretty and she's wearing a crown and the baby is so cute. And then it's on my favorite, it's like this matte, kind of glossy matte chain I have. And then you can see the pictures online. This is a cross, it's stars and it has a big, um oval crystal in the middle so i like to kind of just like layer them casually and like that okay so that's that i'm also wearing my est bell look at how gorgeous this is it's a big chunky stainless steel like luxe braided solid um, piece and then it has this heart toggle closure and I want to show you guys how good it looks next to the Cartier like it's just the best perfect color anyway ever and I love it okay let me show you some other things I have my Hacienda cross so the cross is so gorgeous it's so Spanish look how pretty it is just layered it's so fucking sick okay so there's a heart uh, there's a sacred heart on one side look at all the details a sacred heart on one side this is my wee band OUI like French okay um heart and then on the other side there's a spanish flower and it's so gorgeous spanish like antique heirloom on this really pretty chain love it okay then i want to show you my other icon so you can choose either the holy mother or you can choose the jesus and look at how pretty these are like lifelike and he has the sacred heart i feel like this one is perfectly unisex i love it for guys too um okay then i have my let them eat cake so cute oh my god I'm sure you guys have seen these already because I showed them on my Insta, but this is an earring. I also have it in a necklace. So this is a vintage cameo. And then this is a vintage Swarovski crystal uh, cross in pink and the hoop is new. So they're just vintage components and it's the cutest earring. I also have it in a necklace, which I wore to coffee this morning. So you'll have seen that. Okay, then I have this. These are really popular. This is my Parisian vintage Parisian heart okay it comes on one of my favorite chains from the collection I love this chain it's like um I call it ginger's day chain <laughs> um because it has like I love it just I it was like a very um I can't explain it okay anyway so ginger's day chain is what it's on and it's really shiny and then look at the hand painted this is all hand painted uh Parisian French vintage charm and every heart or sorry every sorry um rose is a little bit different because all hand painted and this large one comes in purple so that and then i have two small okay so then as far as earrings let me find the butterfly here it is okay these are also vintage and parisian hand painted i'm wearing the pink heart and then this little mini heart is so cute if you have a second or third piercing it is adorable it's so hacienda shabby chic all hand painted and this is pink and this is white and then i also have a little white butterfly oh my god it's so adorable you can buy them individually too so you can mix and match or you can buy them as matching pairs um then i also like to do like affordable beautiful like quality things this is my petals crystal petals necklace it's a cross and the baguettes look like um petals from a flower and this is on a 14k gold filled um, chain so you can wear it every day and it's really pretty with the center stone that's round okay i have other things too i have like little hearts the chain i don't have it on i have mini hearts too in the parisian hearts and i have a pink one of that too but it's fucking to be honest i'm not gonna lie it's jammed it's fucking jammed on the chain so i can't show you it looks like shit i have to get it off with a tool because i fucked it up when i it's just not going through. I just fucked it up when I was taking photos yesterday. Um, anyway, this is the pink one. Like, so classy, Alex. This is the pink one. Look at all the detail. And this is the chain it comes on. I'm really into, like, this deep gold chain. I also have these. These are really new. My model. So sick. Okay, I just have so many new things. And it's all in, like, this vintage -y kind of launch that I'm doing. A lot of vintage, some new. And then mix new and vintage together. 
So I hope you guys love it. But I hate when people walk by my car. Do you know what I mean? Like why do you have to walk there? Because it's a walking trail, but it doesn't mean that you can like walk by. Do you guys like these glasses? I bought them. I hate them. I don't know. I just needed glasses, but I hate, I hate you know what I hate? I hate cat kicked cat eye glasses. Can't stand them. Can't fucking stand them. Gross. It's just disgusting. I think the only way I like these if I'm really ugly with no makeup. I don't know. It's just like the cat eye with the makeup. It's just too much. You're too much. So anyway, um, I don't really want to go on and on today. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of an update. Also tell you about, like, if you're in subscriptions, you're lucky because it's really a closed off group, which I like because I don't have to, like, worry about any more trolls coming in because of course there's trolls in the subscriptions rats but um you know what can you do <sighs> like i wouldn't know but i it just sucks that i can't grow like they won't let you grow um they won't they they never let me grow like the moment i start to grow like i guarantee you this this account won't last to 120 um it never does so I, I just don't know what to do like i don't even do anything wrong i repost things that other people repost hundreds of thousands of times what did i do differently i didn't wasn't like dude it's it's just it's exhausting and I feel really bad for you guys because I'm awake. Like, I'm very awake. And I was telling my husband yesterday, like, I really wish I was, like, blissfully blissfully ignorant. I really fucking wish I was. Just, like, with the positive affirmations and just being so happy all the time. You know what I mean? Like, positive. Like, oh, my God, it's going to be a wonderful day. Like, and it not, and, like, it just being so fake. Like, I just can't. I'm too much, like, black and white, up and down, like, left to right. I don't know what it is. Like, there are, there are rules in life. You know what I mean? There are things that make sense. And I really do like, feel like, I really wish I could just walk around. And that's why I don't, like, people on Instagram irritate me. Like, if you're fake, I just can't even talk to you because, like, like, the fucking country is going down, like, like, hell in a handbasket, right? Or whatever. And I know I'm putting my, like, myself out there and my whole line out there, my, like, life out there for what? Because I know you guys are always going to vote the same. I know you're not never going to vote right because you're dumb. Um, even though you are, you do agree with everything I say, you still vote wrong. Like, I don't see you can see what's going on and just be like, I'm going to vote the same way I've always voted. Like, it's, it's really bad. <laughs> and like, the, what's going on right now with this administration is just so insane. And like, it's going to get so much worse. Like, the prices don't bother you guys enough. Like, gas doesn't bother you guys enough. Like, it doesn't, like, you know, it doesn't bother the big people. Because it doesn't matter. A couple extra dollars, three, three, four extra dollars, fucking, you know, gallon doesn't bother them. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that, like, a box of cereal is now $10. They don't care. They've got all the money in the world. But for, like, normal people, like, how does that fucking wake you up? Like, do you think that their kids didn't go to school during COVID? Do you think their kids sat home, like, and, like, did or did, like... Like, do you think their kids are behind? Do you think that? No, your kids are behind. Because you are not them. They're the rule makers. And I, I just so bad. Like, I don't know what to say. I get it. So I won't be, I will not be affected because I get it. And I'm going to like be aware. But at the same time, I can't affect my business that much. I can't keep doing this. Like, but at the same time, I, I like want, I love when you guys tell me you wake up. Uh, but at the same time, it's not really doing much because the masses, like, look what's going on, like, on in New York. And, you know, New York is never going to change. Like, it's just not. And California is only going to get worse. Like, so many people are going to have to be impacted by this, what's going on here, because they're already getting impacted. Like, but it's not enough for that. It's not bad enough. I think, like, we're going to, like, have, it's just going to get worse in the next 10 years. It's gonna get way worse for the next 10 years before people start being like, no, no more. But I really wish, I, and this stupid, I have no audience. I have 4,000 followers like on here, like it doesn't do anything. That's why pe big people are getting shut down. And it's really scary. The, you guys, the truth is when people sh get shut down, it's because it's right. That's what I, that's how I feel now. Like I, I, I did tweet like on truth because I don't have a fucking Twitter. I was like, misinformation is my source of information like it's true if someone gets shut down it's like okay they were obviously right they were obviously said something that like was right enough like was you know they didn't want them to be heard so it's just like with the fat thing i tell you guys like about calories and like weight and stuff like that like i get in trouble for that too like it's so sad why do they want to do this to you guys like why do they want you guys to hurt why do they want you to have a bad life why do they want you to stay broke 
and dumb and ugly and fat. Why? Like, I, do you see what I mean? I'm like, I, I want the best for you guys. Like, I fucking love you guys so much. Like, I really fucking do that I share every fucking little thing about me and like everything and everything I think so that you can like, and like when I lost all the weight, show you how I, how I did it. Like, because it's like, it's the right way to be healthy or to not be so heavy. Like the sky is blue, dude. Like being fat is not cute. Like it's not healthy. I don't give a fuck what you say. And no, like dyeing your hair green and having piercings and being ugly is ugly, okay? It's fucking ugly, bitch. And why do you do that? Why do you want to be ugly? Like, why do you want people to tell you you're pretty when you're not? Like, go do something about it. Why? Like, I just don't understand. I just feel really bad for you guys because no one's there to wake you up. And they're taking more and more people away from, like, speaking the truth. Meanwhile, all these people who are at the top know everything that we're saying is true. And they go by those rules. They just don't let us say it so everyone else can go by those rules. It's so sad. It's so sad. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you like my collection. I'm doing free shipping for US right now as always. Um, not as always, but for recently as always. This is my dream tennis bracelet too. I love it. Um, okay, so oh, bye guys.